Hello dear students, how are you all? Welcome to One Page Biology. This is Prafull and I hope you all are doing fine. So in today's video, we will be discussing another very important topic which is from unit number 9th of 12th standard NCRT Biology. In today's video, we will be discussing a beautiful topic which is called as cloning vector. But dear students, in this video, I will be just explaining you all what is basically the meaning of cloning and what do we mean by vector. Now dear students, can we imagine for a minute that what if we had many many identical copies of ourselves? Of course we watch that in our movies. But in reality, is it possible dear students? The answer is of course no. We cannot form the identical copies of humans or any particular animal for that matter. But we can definitely form many many copies of something called as genes. First of all, these identical copies are nothing but called as clones. So in biological language, we call these all similar copies as clones. So dear students, this is quite possible because it is the DNA of the cell which has got the ability to self replicate. Now dear students, we had already studied the same in this particular experiment called as Avery Macleod and McCarty. So you remember that Avery Macleod and McCarty's experiment had proven that it is the DNA which is the self replicating molecule among the proteins, carbohydrates, fats as well as the RNA. So that means that DNA can replicate on its own and that's the reason why dear students in all our cells there is equal distribution of DNA. That's why we all have 46 chromosomes in every cell of our body. Now dear students as we said that today it is possible to form many many copies of genes. So ultimately genes are nothing but the fragments of DNA. But the question is how can we form many many copies of such genes? Now for that we require a different form of DNA in which we can integrate the gene and finally we can form many many copies of that particular gene. So that different form of DNA which is basically used to form many copies of genes is known as a plasmid. So let me tell you that this term plasmid was coined by a particular scientist whose name was Joshua Lederberg and he had coined this term plasmid back in the year 1952 dear students. So plasmid is basically an extra DNA which is present in certain bacteria. It is also called as extra chromosomal DNA. So basically what is the advantage of this particular plasmid? So let me tell you dear students those bacteria which have this particular plasmids in them have got certain extra benefits. Benefits like what? Such bacteria can basically survive in the presence of antibiotics. That means they have the power to resist the antibiotics. They can even tolerate high temperatures. They can sustain high pressures. Now dear students back in the year 1972 there were two great scientists. Those were nothing but Francisco Bolivar Zapata and Raymond L. Rodriguez. Both of them actually made the first artificial cloning vector. So this artificial cloning vector was termed as PBR322. Now PBR322 dear students was used very commonly by Bolivar and Rodriguez in order to transfer a foreign gene inside a bacteria like an E. coli and form many many copies of that foreign gene. Now dear students basically what do we mean by a vector? Vector is basically a vehicle which is used to carry something. So basically here plasmid is acting as a vehicle to transfer a gene inside the host, right? So the vector in simple words, it is a vehicle to deliver a gene inside the host. And that's why here the plasmid is also considered as a vector dear students. So this particular plasmid PBR322 has got different different features and what I will be doing is I will make a separate video to help you understand what are the different features of this PBR322 dear students. So dear students like plasmids in today's data and time there are different types of cloning vectors which are also used to transfer the desired gene into the host and also to form many many copies of that particular desired gene. So different cloning vectors like for example bacteriophages or yeast artificial chromosomes or even cosmids. What exactly is a bacteriophage? Bacteriophages are nothing but the viruses which infect the bacteria. So the DNA of bacteriophages are often used to transfer a foreign gene inside a bacteria. Likewise, even cosmids are constructed dear students. Cosmids are basically similar to plasmids only, but the only difference between a plasmid and a cosmid is inside a cosmid, there are certain cos sites which are integrated and these cos sites are obtained from the DNA of a bacteriophage. 
even the yeast genome that is the yeast dna is also used to transfer basically a foreign gene inside a host that is nothing but yeast all these are different types of cloning vectors apart from these there are also other different types of cloning vectors like for example the plant and the animal viruses which are also often used as the vectors to transfer the foreign genes inside the eukaryotic cells or even they use sometimes the mammalian artificial chromosomes to transfer a particular gene inside the host cell so dear students based on this particular concept there was a question asked in last year's that is NEET 2022 biology question paper and the question was which of the following is not a cloning vector so be extremely careful dear students as the question is asking us which is not a cloning vector right so let me read the options for you all the options were YAC second option is PDR322 third option is probe and the fourth option is BAC. So dear students, we just now discussed that YAC is yeast artificial chromosome. PBR322 was the first artificial cloning vector which was constructed by Bolivar and Rodriguez as well as BAC is nothing but a different type of a cloning vector which is called as bacterial artificial chromosome and it is used by formation of a different type of a plasmid, dear students. So basically out of all these four options, it is only a probe which is not a vector, dear students, because probes are nothing but complementary DNA strands which are often used to locate the desired DNA fragment. So probes are not used for cloning dear students and that's why the right answer for this particular question is a probe. So I hope dear students you have understood the concept of what exactly is a vector. If you have understood this particular concept dear students please like share and subscribe to one page biology. So I'll be seeing you all in the next video with some another biology related topic dear students. Till that time take care of yourself. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.